Hello. Today I want to, to show you one of my, my sketchbooks so that you see a bit the process I follow with, um, with working with them and how they, um, they, they fit into my practice. They, um, they are very actually strong basis for my pieces, for, you know, final pieces sometimes. Um, so yeah, I will show you one of my recent sketchbooks. So here is the first sketchbook I'm gonna share with you. This is um, based on a course I did with Jesus Cisneros, um, the great illustrator, Spanish illustrator, and um, and the the course was about um, collecting um, little natural elements, and from observation and from um, yeah, from taking notes of these these elements to create something else. Um, so it was observational to begin with, but then it was about letting your your imagination go. Um, so yeah, here you you can start seeing uh, how uh, these little creatures, insects, uh, started to develop. Um, there were insects, there were flowers, some really cute characters um, that I would love to develop somehow. Um, yeah, like this one here, for example, I see this like it could be a great character. And I'm going to show you uh, what was based on on a little twig I found um, in my local park. Uh, there it is. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, all these, uh, I mean, all of them are based, they seem more complicated, but they would start with, you know, a little shape from from a, a, a stone or a twig. And, um, and then the idea was that we would create uh, insects and flowers. And we were working with, um, with pears, so each insect would have its flower. Uh, associated. Here we go. This is more final um, drawings. Uh, they were made with uh, color pencils, only two colors. And here it's the insect and the and the flower associated with it. Uh, I think it was a lovely project. Not not all of them um, came up rightly uh, like this flower. I didn't. I wasn't happy with it. But this this I loved. For example, this little character. Um, yeah, it's a great idea to actually limit limit to limit your palette to, um, to colors or a few colors only. Um, yeah, you sort of your your creativity really sort of has to be alert and and developed to to make it work. Um, so here another pair. And this is something else. <laughs> this is a writer I discovered last year. I really loved and um, and did a, a portrait of hers. Um, some masks. Actually, let me show you her name. Uh, Ingat Kim. I'm not sure if you pronounce it like that. So later in the course, we were doing masks. Um, I haven't worked that so much, um, so I don't have many to show. But we also drew cats in movement, in a rested, resting position, more masks. Um, quite crazy, you know, look, this one. Um, the idea was really to let go your 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 own boundaries or your own sort of uh, restrictions uh, he works with lots of patterns um and he he has a, a beautiful work it was very nice to work with someone else's i wouldn't say style because you know i you always develop your own thing but like a bit like someone else's uh premises of how to start um something um bodies uh in different postures um he was suggesting for example to combine uh human bodies with um animal heads uh, to create mythical characters um more studies of of bodies um and then this is a bit my my own uh this is more the sort of thing i do some abstract um 
but again working with two with two colors um and that's it really um yeah so uh, i hope you enjoyed this in my in my lessons i will definitely expand on this and show how i developed from the simple shapes more um more complex ones but i hope this gives you an idea of of how i work in just one of my sketchbooks i have many others and you know sometimes work very differently from one to the other